Hello everybody, I am Ben from Tim Panic and I am helping to run an event. And this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Not specifically run an event, but do this specific event. And there is a bit of a story here. So you've kind of already seen the title and the thumbnail of this video probably, and I think I've alluded to it in those. But a very long time ago, I produced a video or I put a video up here about making the cheapest combat robot that I physically could and I made it from bare principles. I walked into stores, I bought everything I was going to use and I built it for less the, than the cost of the kind of standard transmitter that most people use when they're getting into combat robots for the first time. That robot wasn't great. Like it was combat ready but it never actually, or at least mine, never actually saw combat because it was an experiment more than anything else. And I put that out there as a challenge. Very recently, Jay, NHRL's first mech pilot, put up a video where they did the same thing and challenged their partner to go head to head against them. And they brought me in as a judge. That video is so good. It is a great video. I'm gonna link it in the description down below. Go and check that out after this if you haven't seen it already. But their video inspired me to bring up the idea of building robots out of junk back to my local club, ARC. Because it's one of those ideas people have like half seriously talked about for a long, long time. But nobody's ever done anything about it until now. This video of Jay's kind of kickstarted and ignited an interest in this idea and so we have made the event a real thing. As we currently stand, we are a couple of days out from the event and I have written all of the rules, bought all of the electronics kits uh, and just got everything ready from a technical side. Chris, who helps run ARC, has been doing everything from the kind of event organization side and things are going well. I am going to put a link to a Google Drive that has got all of the stuff that I am using, including all of the electronics that we're gonna go over in a second, all of the rules that I've written, because this is kind of sort of a jokey event in some ways, kind of like Charles Guan's R-Spots, but a little bit back towards combat robots off of what he did with all of that stuff. Uh, and I'm just honestly very, very, very excited about this. I'm, I'm buzzing for Sunday. It's going to be great. But this video, we're in this video to talk about what this is and what I'm doing and how it all works. So the general premise here is that everybody is going to rock up on the day with no robot and a transmitter. And then you're going to be given, or everybody's going to be given, the same kit of electronics, which includes a receiver and ESCs and a battery and all that kind of stuff, and a pile of junk supplied by the competitors. I'm bringing my own tub of junk, and everybody else is bringing their own stuff too. Then where it's just a free for all. Everybody grabs, gets to grab out of that pile and build combat robots. And it's a morning build, afternoon fight type arrangement, and. Yeah, I'm really, really keen. So let's take a quick look at the electronics kit that we've spec'd out for this, or I've spec'd out for this, because I tried to go cheap, but also usable. And here it is, this is the kit. So we have a battery connector and LED 250 to 120s, which are a decent speed, especially for junk bots. A fairly large ESC, but this whole thing was designed to be a fairly cheap kit. Uh, so these are a cheaper version of a lot of ESCs, but that does mean they are fairly big. Uh, we've got a little power switch here, which is just a toggle switch. And then we've got one of these, which is a lithium nine volt rechargeable battery. Again, this is a bit big and a bit heavy, but it's an easier battery solution than running LiPos, especially if we're not asking people to bring LiPo chargers. And we kind of pitch this as being an easy way to get into the sport. So while this is heavier than it should normally be for a combat robot, uh, it will work in this scenario, especially as scrap bots are gonna be slightly heavier than ant weights, just to give people that weight to play around with things. And then we're also giving people a choice. 
between a servo and then a fast N20 and a speed controller for the weapon. Because that's the other thing. All of these need to have an active weapon because I'm, I'm so keen to see what people do for active weapons out of scrap. Now, as mentioned, I will leave links to all of these below. What's probably actually going to happen is I'll have a Google Drive set up that has the rules in it and then a document that has all of these parts in it and where I got them from. Those links may not stay up forever, so you may have to search on whatever direct from China site you personally use to find these parts yourself. But if you're watching this early, you will probably be able to just click the links and go directly to the places that I have collected all of these parts from. Now, the other thing to do here is these. So they're gonna to need to be some kind of output for these N20s. And I had considered when doing up this rule set and stuff that different motors might be easier to mount to. However, N20s are fairly cheap for what they are and fairly light. So they actually make this weight class kind of viable. And there was really no way around using them. So I had to think of a way to allow people to connect to these because they are a very, very small D shaft. And what I've set it on in the end is just providing everybody in their kits for printed parts that allow them to connect to this, but not use as wheels. Big thanks to 3D Printworks, my local filament sponsor for providing filament for these hubs, but also providing prizes for this event. So here we go, we've got four printed parts. We have two hubs that are just like hex hubs, and then two prints that are slightly larger to attach larger things to the N20s. And that is the kit that I'm going to be providing is four of these so that people who are using the N20 for weapon system have something to connect to that to then run whatever weapon system it is they wanna run with that. And I purposely designed these things to not roll properly. So they will kind of sort of roll, but they're gonna be a lot of very jumpy motions to get that to happen because they're all kind of triangular and angly and stuff. Because what I really didn't want was somebody to take these and just use them as the wheel or like cut pieces off of them and use them as the wheel. I really want people to make the wheels out of junk. Like I'm looking for robots that have got a bit of an amble on them because the wheels are not quite concentric on the hub. Like that's the type of thing that's gonna make these fights interesting and fun, I hope. So that's what we're going for. And these STLs will also be in that GitHub link uh, if you want to print these yourselves, all these hubs. That's gonna be it for this video. It really was just a short, quick one. I'm just honestly excited about this event. You will see a event report from me, which might be a little bit different. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. I'd like to film my build process, but obviously it is a public event and you know people don't consent to being filmed at things just by walking into a building. So I I don't know, things might be a little close up, a little like focused down on the desks that I'm building on. I might even do like an audio afterwards scenario just to kind of give people their own space and not have cameras everywhere. Uh, I definitely want to film all my fights and things. I think all of that is going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, something will, some kind of event report will come out after this because I just, I can't not. This is going to be, oh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm so, so excited for this. Yeah, if you want to try and run this yourself, please do. Please do it. And if you do, let me know. Show me somewhere online that this has happened because I, I, I'd love it if this inspired other clubs to take it on and do an interesting scrap build challenge themselves. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video.